Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Fresca from 96.5 KOIT, and we have some very special guests with us today. Super excited for this. You already know who they are, but you know, they have sold over 130 million albums worldwide. They are the best selling boy band of all time. We do have Howie and Nick from the Backstreet Boys with us today. Hi, guys. Thank you for having yes. us. Yeah. <laughs> You know that you have a very, very busy schedule. So thank you so much for joining us today. So very, very um, exciting things have been happening for you guys. I mean, you have a new Christmas album. This is the very first Christmas album that uh, you all have dropped, correct? The very Backstreet Christmas? Yes, that is yeah. correct. We uh, yeah. were very, it's our first Christmas record. Uh, we have been wanting to do this for many, many years. Um, just unfortunately haven't been gifted the time to do it properly because uh, normally when making a Christmas record, you're doing it around spring, summertime, which is normally our biggest time of touring every year. Uh, so believe it or not, COVID, uh, the one blessing that it did give us was the time off uh, to really think about what we wanted to do. And, and this was the perfect timing for us to finally make that Christmas record that we've been wanting to do for almost 30 years now. Um, and, and it gave us a chance to get back together uh, to go through our wish list of songs that we all grew up as little kids, you know, listening to and, and wanting to eventually one day remake. And uh, we all got together in California, recorded in a studio in the middle of the summer, uh, but made it really Christmas-esque by the studio. We had it, well, we didn't do it. They actually surprised us when we got there. It was, it was really uh, christmas uh, out with all the uh, the decorations on the walls and the Christmas tree and the log on the uh, and the fireplace and everything and on the, on the TV screens. And it was actually, it was, it was really easy to get into the Christmas spirit, believe it or not, in the middle of 90 something degrees in the California, uh, with just the whole thing that we created. And, uh, it's something we're very, very proud of. We have, I believe it's 11, uh, songs on there, uh, plus two bonus tracks that are on the, uh, target, uh, album that comes out as well. Um, and, uh, of the 11 songs, there are, uh, I believe it's nine remakes and three originals, uh, which two of those we uh, all five of us wrote on. And so we're very proud of this record. I think it really, it, it brings the essence of what Backstreet Boys are for Christmas records. Wow. Wow. I mean, just to, to know that, uh, well, that there was something beautiful that came out of COVID. So that, 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 that's nice that you were all able to, to get together. What would you say is the most favorite of the remakes that you all did together i'm i'm a uh, very particular to um last christmas uh not only did uh we grow up literally that was like probably my favorite christmas song during the holidays when i was younger and um and so uh i think this was like last christmas two christmases ago uh, my daughter actually, uh, she, I, I had it on the radio. We were playing it on this little boom box, like this little thing. And she was just starting to learn how to walk. And that song was playing during the holidays, during Christmas. And she started dancing with it. And, and that was her first like dance that she ever did and, and steps that she ever took. And uh, I put that on my Instagram and so that one really like is special to me. I'm really happy that it turned out to be the first single, um, you know, so that one. And um, I mean, I actually really like the song. Uh, uh, I just want to spend it with you. Is that the name of the song, Howie? How, how is it? The, the, uh, the California you... Christmas song. No, no. As... I just want to spend it with you. That one. I together? think that's together. Sorry, it's called together. <laughs> so there's a song called together. We have one song that's uh, Christmas in New York and then this other song called Together, which has more of a, a Cali Christmas feel. So we wrote a song like that. I like that one. Oh, gotta love that. We gotta definitely love the uh, <laughs> love that one. But let's talk a little bit about your uh, Christmas in New York and um, and what that song is really about. I mean, I think when when people think Christmas, they I think a lot a lot of folks think of, of, of New York and the fun things to do there. What <laughs> uh, what kind of vibe um, is that? Absolutely. I mean, I think I think you hit it right on the head. I mean, I think everybody probably is little kids, whether seeing movies, the Home Alones, the, you know, Miracle on 34th Street, whatever it was, like all those movies that just brought in New York. Um, it's just it's, it, it's the essence of what I think America thinks of 
the traditional Christmas. Um, even for me as in Nick growing up in Florida, I think we always, you know, we had a different type of a Christmas, but you always thought of like, wow, the real Christmas is in the snow up there in the New York and the city with the lights and everything and all the billboards. Um, so this is actually a song that uh, Kevin uh, brought to the table uh, from a producer that we worked with for many, many years, a guy named Gary Baker. He's probably most known for uh, his hit, um, I Swear, for All For One, and John Michael Montgomery uh, remade it. And so it, he brought the song to the table, and I definitely will admit that at first when I listened to it, I was like, wow, this is very different and unique. I'm like... I like it in a weird way. I just don't know if it fits the record with everything else because the record has a really R and B boys to me, boys to men meets pentatonics kind of a feel meets mm. Backstreet Boys. But this, this one definitely is, it was like a standout alone. But the more you listen to it, the more you couldn't help but to be like, there's something about this that's like it's almost like it's haunting. It just it, it grows inside of you, and it really has that 1940s as I always say to people, 1940s old movie big movie style or a big like you know a disney animated movie uh you could see it in like a soundtrack almost like for, for a big picture um but it definitely it, it brings the essence of new york and what if what it, you know what we all think of what christmas should be like in new york and uh i think it you know it's it's a good timing as well because you know new york is, has taken a little bit of a beat in uh during mm -hmm. covid and so we feel like it's it's good to bring in and bring some, you know, some positive, some good energy. Spirit, spirit, good spirit. <laughs> yeah. So the holiday, the holiday season is a time of of giving. Uh, can you share with us any special giving back moments uh, that changed your life or perhaps a fan's life? Uh, I actually, uh, two years ago in Las Vegas, where I live, um, I did a, uh, it was a, a, a kind of like a Christmas is like home for Christmas with me and my family and I did like a, a live kind of like telecasting um, where we raised um, a, a, a large sum of money uh, for uh, a children's hospital out in um, in Las Vegas that um, helps with um, cancer for in kids uh, it's called cure for the kids and I I that was such a uh, an amazing experience for me I mean I had, a, we literally set up, uh, uh, like we did some cooking in the house, you know, with a, a local chef um, and, you know, things like that, you know, trying to find a way to give back during the holiday seasons. It, it, it just, it just takes you over. Like you, you get into that spirit and you, and you can't help yourself, but just think about, you know, other people other than yourself. Absolutely. I think we're so blessed the Backstreet Boys for almost 30 years. It's about, you know, making, uh, you know, making other people blessed. And now at this point in our careers and, and giving back, like Nick said, I think, um, I think we're all, we all try to be as charitable as possible. Just like Nick, for me, a good friend of mine, probably about 10 years ago, uh, they do a foundation, they have a foundation where they give every year to the homeless. They, they, they raise a lot of money and pack up uh, tents and sleeping bags and stuff that they can use out there um, while they're in that, the most convenient places to just do everyday life that we're so blessed with. Um, so I got my kids to help me do that. Cause I would, I would like Nick, I think it was, it was really important for us to teach our kids, uh, what it is about giving back. Um, cause we are truly blessed and, uh, from a lot of people out there. And so to make their lives blessed as well is a good thing. And Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Uh, what are your plans for Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, to eat. <laughs> no, it's so funny. Yeah, no, no it, it's funny because um, we we have some really uh, special things that are that we have planned. Uh, where so we're we're on tour right now for another three weeks, and, and then we'll come home. We'll have maybe like you know a certain amount. Of, I, I think before Thanksgiving we got to go do our thing, right? A week before we got to go do some rehearsals for something. And then we then we're gonna go do Thanksgiving, and then we gotta do something else where we might have to be, um, you know, on TV or something like that. And um, any anyways, I hope we don't eat too much, but we're gonna kind of let go a little bit during that time. And uh, you know, I, I listen. At the end of the day, um, that's the time because I have you know I have um, my wife's family is coming in, and we have a lot of like all the kids get together at the house. Everyone's playing. Everyone's like they're, they're cooking. You know, uh, I'm. I'm literally told to stay out of the kitchen, you know, uh, cause I, I get in the way and it, it's all, it's, it's really about giving thanks and, and, and just being like, just like the holiday season. I think that this is 
um, we're, I think the whole world is looking forward to some good times, you know what I mean? To some, some, some times where they can just, uh, you know, get together with the people that they love the most and just, just let go, you know what I mean? Um, and especially coming out of the pandemic and coming out of COVID. So to answer the question, we're going to be eating and just uh, disconnecting and enjoying our, our, our Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now for me, I'm the opposite. My wife is get your butt in the kitchen and help out. <laughs> I get in charge, especially if it's done at my house. I've had to learn how to uh, cook uh, a turkey uh, within the last five years. So now I do two different turkeys. I've, I've gone online and researched how to brine and make a spicy turkey because I really like spicy food. And then for the family who has, has doesn't have as, as a spicy of a tongue as me, I have to make a normal turkey. Uh, but that's my, that's my job to get in there and make the turkeys. Um, but like Nick, it's all about getting together with family. Um, I live in Florida, so most of the times it's with my family. Um, but I love it when my in-laws come into town as well, or, or some years we go up to New Jersey where her family's from. But it's all about, like Nick said, about getting together, family. All it's like a big. I think it's like a big potluck. Every all, everybody brings a little something, and it's just it's it's just nice to be with family and, and loved ones. Man, that sounds like a lot of fun. And you know, I, I should say, I guess happy thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving yes, to you guys. To you, as, you as well. Happy yep. holidays. You guys are a very big part of Christmas for us here. And uh, just thank you so much for helping us kick it off this year. Thank you. Thank you thank so you much guys. for inviting us. God bless you. Yep.